Hello everyone, it's Kim Messenger from Reservoir Church and I'm here to share another Godly Play story, story with you. This story is the story about Ruth. Ruth was the great grandmother of King David. But first, today in Kids Church, we went on a little treasure hunt to find green things. So I brought a green mug that I drank my tea from, and I brought some mint. It smells really minty. And I wore green earrings, and I've put green underneath the Christ candle that I have here. And the reason that we went searching for green things today in Kids Church is because we have come to the second of the great green growing Sundays of the year. In our part of the world, these great green growing Sundays begin when school is about to end and take us all the way through summer and into the fall and to Thanksgiving until we come back to the beginning of the church calendar again. We begin again with Advent, when we get ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. But right now, we are just at the beginning of the green growing season, Sundays of the year. I'm gonna light the Christ candle because I haven't done that yet. And you know I like to do that to help us remember that Jesus is with us. He's with me here, and he's with you wherever you are as you listen to this story today. Now, before I start the story, <clears throat> I think it will be helpful if we do a little bit of remembering. So this story happens after the time when Moses led the people out of slavery and through the waters into freedom it happens after the time when the people were in the desert and God had given the 10 best ways to Moses to give to the people. The people stayed in the desert for 40 years. Finally, they came into the promised land. This story about Ruth happens when they are in the promised land. This story about Ruth is also, also helps us remember King David because Ruth was King David's great-grandmother. You may know things about David, how when he was um, a young boy and taking care of his father's sheep, he fought with the giant Goliath using just his slingshot and five smooth stones to kill the giant. And then when David grew up, he became king and he took Jerusalem for his city. And David is the one who went and found the ark that the people had carried with them all through the desert. And he brought it into the city. And then it was David's son, Solomon, who built the temple for God and where they put the ark. That's a little bit to help us remember where this story about Ruth, where her story fits into the great big story. And now we can begin. <clears throat> Here is the River Jordan. It's a twisty kind of river. When the people finally crossed the Jordan River and came into the Promised Land, they filled it up. Some of the people of God lived in Bethlehem. And some of those people were Ruth and her husband, 
and their two sons. Then a time came when there was no rain for a long time. So there was no water to help the grain grow in the fields, no grain to make into bread to eat. <clears throat> so some of the people of God decided that they would go to the land of Moab, where there was food. So Naomi and her husband and their two sons were some of the people that went to Moab. And they were happy there. But then Naomi's husband died. And that was very sad. Eventually, her sons married young women from Moab. Orpah was one and Ruth was the other. But then those husbands died, and that was very sad. Now, Naomi and Orpah and Ruth were widows together. A widow is someone who was married, but then their husband dies. Naomi decided that she would return to her family in Bethlehem. And she told Orpah and Ruth that they should go and return to their family, their families in Moab. Orpah went home again. But Ruth stayed with Naomi. Ruth said, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So Naomi and Ruth went back to Bethlehem, and they found a place to live there. At the end of the day, Ruth would go out into the fields after the harvesters, and she would gather the grain that had been left in the fields so she could make bread for her and Naomi to eat. Now one of the fields <coughs> where Ruth gathered grain was owned by a man named Boaz. And Boaz saw Ruth. He liked how she worked hard and took care of Naomi. Boaz said to Ruth, Gather grain, but only in the fields that belong to me, and that way you will be safe. And Boaz said to his workers, Look after Ruth, don't bother her, and leave extra grain for her to gather. Eventually, Ruth and Boaz were married. And they had a son named Obed. Now Ruth was a mother, and Naomi could hold her grandson in her lap. When Obed grew up, he had a son named Jesse. And when Jesse grew up, he had many children, and one <coughs> was David. David is the one who grew up to be king of the people. Here's a crown for King David. David was the great grandson of Ruth, the woman from Moab. I wonder <clears throat> what part of this big story you like the best. I wonder what part of the story you think could be the most important part. I wonder where you are in the story. What part of the story might be about you? 
We all have parents and grandparents and great-grandparents. My grandmother came from another country to start her family. I wonder what you know about your grandparents' stories or your great-grandparents' stories. Maybe you can ask your parents or the grown-ups in your house. Maybe you can ask your grandparents themselves about their stories. I hope you learn lots about your family. Thank God that our stories are all part of this big story too. Amen. Thanks for letting me share this story with you. Bye now.